In this video we're going to be looking at arithmetic progressions and an arithmetic progression is a sequence of numbers which increase by a known amount each time. We could take a very simple number sequence such as 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and what we can see is as we go from one term to the next the number is increasing by 3. But we might have a variation of this. We might have a number sequence that starts with a given value and then increases in the same manner. So we see here that the difference between each term is the same but the sequence is different because the first term is different. So when we're dealing with arithmetic progressions we have two formulas that we use. One can be used to find what we call the nth term and by the nth term we mean a term somewhere later in the sequence. And we also have a formula for calculating the sum of the first n terms, which would be the sum of all of the terms up to a term n. We could say that the nth term is the twelfth term, in which case we would apply the formula to find the twelfth term in the sequence. Or we could apply the second formula to find the sum of the first twelve terms. So the two formulas that we use when dealing with arithmetic progressions are as follows. We have a plus n minus 1d to give us our nth term or the value of the nth term in the sequence and the second formula we have is for the sum of the first n terms and that formula is n over 2 2a plus n minus 1d so just to define what each of these variables are in this equation a is the first term. So all sequences start with a first term and in the examples we had previously although the numbers went up by 3 each time the first term was different. And D is the difference between the terms. So again in the previous example the difference between each term would have been 3. And those are the only two things that impact on either of these equations finding the nth term and finding the sum of the first n terms. I'm just going to do a couple of really basic examples of these and then hopefully you'll be able to apply these two equations for yourself. So first of all let's take a number sequence that starts with 22, 26, 30, 34, 38, all the way up to n. Now what I want to know is what is the 120th term. So in this case n is going to be 120. I want to know what the 120th term is in this sequence. And I also want to know what the sum of the first 120 terms all added together is. So first of all to find the nth term I apply our equation a plus n minus 1 times the difference which in this case is the first term is 22 the first term in the sequence n minus 1 is going to be 119 and the difference between our terms here going from one term to the next is just 4 so 22 plus 119 times 4 gives us the value of the nth term which is 498. So if we continue with this sequence going up until we reach the 120th term, that 120th term would be 498. Now the sum of the first n terms, we can also find that sum of the first n terms, our equation was n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1 D. So once again we plug in our numbers, 120 divided by 2 is 60. 2 times a, well a was 22, so 2a is 44. n minus 1 is 119 and the difference is 4. So the sum of the first n terms in this case, or the first 120 terms in this sequence, is 31,000. 200. Now these sequences work just the same with negative numbers. So let's say this time we start with 
seven. Then we go downwards. Now from this sequence here, we can see that our first term, A, is seven. Our difference as we go from one number to the next, in this case, is minus two. Now we're gonna do our calculations for the 25th term in the sequence. So our nth term in this case is going to be 25, the 25th term in this sequence. Well, I can find the value of the 25th term in this sequence by doing the following, nth term equals a plus n minus 1d, the same formula as before. In this case, our first term is seven, n is 25, so 25 minus one is 24, and our difference, just take care because it's negative, 24 times negative two, and that gives us an nth term of minus 41. But again, we can calculate the sum of the n terms. So the sum of the n terms equals n over two, two a plus n minus one d. n over two this time is gonna be 12.5. 2a this time is going to be 14, n minus 1 is 24, and our difference is minus 2. Now when we run the numbers on that, we get a sum of the first 25 terms of minus 425.